Did that do anything? <laughs> uh, what a weird thing that I feel like I should have just stumbled across earlier. I don't think that I did anything, I just picked up a fun thing. Well, it's a yellow scribble I picked up, right? Which led to the yellow balls. Don't... <sighs> cool. <laughs> I'm a little annoyed, because as much as I really enjoy this game, and I think it's cute and adorable and everything, as I mentioned in my final moments of the last video, this game has a serious problem with being extremely slow, and that's fine if the world's nice and compact, which this doesn't feel like. Th there's some serious considerations you need to have in terms of designing anything where due concern needs to be given to how you're going to put A and B together. I think I'll just rummage around a bit and see what I can get. I think there's like three more over to the right. This looks like it's going to be a hexagon. Where were... Oh, man. See, the problem with adding layers upon layers is it's cute. You added a layer on a layer. How adorable. The whole world is very proud of you. The pat pat on the head and all that kind of stupid stuff. But that's this is a cute little adventure game that needs one layer of post game. Just the one is fine because once you go too far with post game, and this is how fast I can move around, um, I'm going to start getting angry, and people start to forget things, and they just get frustrated. People don't keep extensive notes on Kabob's adventures to where they've been and where things are. So you making it needlessly complicated to get around is just kind of annoying. <laughs> So, I think I know of one place that those gold orbs are at, but I don't even know what they do. I know that they're there, is the thing. <sighs> like it again. I don't get the point. I don't get the point at all. Why would you design your game like this? I don't know. I, I, I get it. It's all the rage for your fun little indie game to have 16 layers of post-game where you keep doing stupider and stupider stuff. And that kind of worked for, I think, Space Station Alpha, whatever, that, that Space Station game. It kind of works for that because it's simple and the movement is fun and at some point, like, the world and the context that world is in changes as a result of your actions, which is like, you know, that's pretty cool. This game doesn't have that. I'm moving around doing the same thing I was before. I just need to go back to places I've already been to pick up specific items that I might not remember where they are because why would I remember that there was a yellow ball that I didn't have any context for? Like, that's the problem, is I need to recontextualize an entire environment of which I have this as a map and this as my movement and I need to go back through it again. It's not fun. It's not good. It's not fun. You need to smooth it out. You need to grab a big fat angle grinder and just smooth it out. You can't do this. You just can't. It's not, you're not going to make any brownie points with this. Seriously. Is that it? That might be more. Uh, like, here's the thing, right? I don't want to do rounds of this world. I don't want to walk around the whole time. And I don't, and oh, if I want to check my progress, I have to go all the way back. I have to rub my face on, on the end game. I have to go through the end game, which is not, like, it's, I understand it. It's, it's, it's very cute when you walk slowly on your first time, you know? Because like, oh, we're just having a little fun time moving around. That's fun the first time. But the second time, it just doesn't work. Again, because the context just don't align. There's a... <sighs> so allow me to explain this in a different fashion. You, as a person, interpret environments differently depending on if you've been there the first time or it's your second time or whatever. When you're so somewhere the first time, your brain is like sucking in all the gas. It's sucking in all that environmental juice. Because it's like, oh man, this place is so fresh, so new, so hip, so happening. And it's very intrigued by it. So everything takes long. Everything feels novel and interesting. Even though it's, it's boring the second time. It's very boring the second time. The first time, there's this magical moment in your brain where it all makes sense. And the second time you come through, Traversal takes priority over the actual interestingness of the environment. And that's the thing you gotta keep track of. And that's the thing this game didn't keep track of. It, for some reason, operates on this bizarre logic that traversal is fun twice in a row. And then a third time in the row. Congratulations, you have to pick a bunch of yellow orbs that have never been specified or anything and are just kind of there and look kind of interesting. But, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give this game the fair shake. And 
I'll put in the description of this video because this ain't going up until way after I'm uh, done with it. Or whatever or not, I actually found another orb. I mean, there is space for a seventh. I'm not going to argue that. But six is like the ones that are obvious. And I just don't want to. I don't want to. It's just not, it's not fun. It's not an activity that, that ranks high in my phenometer. Also, it's kind of goofy that there are no yellow orbs to immediately teach you what the yellow orb does. It's just, oh, here's a yellow scribble, and now you can pick up orbs. Congratulations on picking that up. <sighs> and also, and here's the part that I don't get. Why is this right area so... Where'd our triangle friend go? Oh, there he is. Why is this area so massive? Why is our inventory so huge? Like, look at this. Our inventory is massive, but at most you can fill up one row. And then it has all this... <sighs> it's like I'm loading up a revolver of my own boredom and frustration with this game. It's great. It's great. Good job, game developer. You did the thing that some indie games do that they shouldn't do, which is hide the actual finale behind layers and layers of sponge cake. And I ate my cake. I would like to stop vomiting from all the cake you're trying to feed me. Like, this was cute. It was fun. I had a little smile on my face. But you take away the more you add. Brevity is the soul of wit. Brevity is also the soul of patience. Kids. Anyway, I... I don't think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm done. I think I'm just gonna throw up my little hands. I'm gonna do a Google. And if the Google says no, I'm gonna say no. 